Seven in the morning, I opened my eyes and knew it was time for the battle to begin. I bounced out of bed and started sprinting to the bathroom. I pick up my toothbrush, left, right, front, back. I go through all of my teeth, polishing intensively. But when I open my mouth to admire my work, expecting sparkling, brilliant white teeth, instead, my teeth are yellow? You see, it's a lot more fun to focus on what we're good at. It makes sense. If you're good at something, it's easier to do. The problem is only focusing on your strengths, be it with school, sports, cooking, or even something as simple as brushing your teeth can end up extending your weaknesses. About two and a half months ago, I started to notice that my teeth weren't looking so good. They weren't brilliant white, no, they were a bit yellow. I was busy with a lot of games, homework, chores, games, and whatever else distracts your average 11 year old. I wasn't spending the time taking care of my teeth and it was showing. After seeing this yellowification of my teeth, I had decided I was going to do something about it. How do you solve yellowification of teeth? You brush them, right? And so I did, every morning, every evening, right after my alarm clock went off and right before I'd go to bed. I hit the left side, right side, the front, then the back. Then I'd admire my work to see if I was making progress. And you know what? It was working. My teeth were brightening up. Yes, I finally solved my problem. Except after a week or two, something weird started to happen. I got up one morning, went to the bathroom, as per usual, left, right, front, back. But when I opened my mouth to admire my work this time, my teeth were yellow again. No, this can't be happening. I've been brushing so intensively. Left, right, front, back, left, right, front, back. Every day, but now, my teeth are yellow. Disappointed, I left the sink. Afraid I was doomed to live a life full of unevenly yellow teeth. That evening when I brushed again, I couldn't help but watch my routine. I couldn't help but notice myself brushing. Left, right, front, back, and wondered if it was worth it. That's when I noticed something. My canines, the teeth over here, the vampire teeth, they weren't on the left, right, front, or back. They were in a weird spot, in between the front and the sides, at a weird angle. They weren't as easy to hit, and that meant I often didn't pay attention to them. In fact, sometimes I would completely forget about them. They weren't all that yellow, no, they were just yellower than my other teeth. By only focusing on the easy to reach teeth, my not so easy to reach teeth ended up looking much worse. In other words, by only focusing on my strengths, my weaknesses ended up looking much worse. That night, I was laying in my bed, imagining a marathon. My left, right, front, back teeth were nearly at the finish line, but my poor canines weren't even halfway through. They were losing the marathon, the battle for brilliance, and it was time for me to step in. 7 a.m., I woke up, this time ready for a race. On top of my left, right, front, back teeth, I made sure to give my canines a chance, and so it became left, right, front, back canine. Then I went to admire my work to see if I was making progress. And you know what? After three days, it was working. My canines, they were catching up. After about two weeks, they had caught up. They'd won the marathon, the battle for brilliance because of competition. 
Competition gave me a clear goal to strive towards. If I hadn't competed in myself, my teeth would look as yellow as if I'd never brushed at all. So people, if you find that as you grow your strength, you start to see your weaknesses falling behind. Doesn't matter if you're a hockey player whose puck selling skills are at the end of the marathon or you're or same thing with, with cooking. If you're a chef whose stir-fried meals are at the final lap, but your baking skills are so rusty that you can't bake bread to save your life, make sure that you have a few freshly baked slices of bread to go along with your stir-fried meal. As you keep growing your strength, you start to see your weaknesses falling behind, remember to compete. Because it doesn't just have to be your teeth and your smile that can be brilliant. It's any and every aspect of life. So here's a challenge for you, all of you. Instead of leaving your weaknesses in the dust, introduce a little self-competition. <laughs>